Our topic here today is to discuss the proper insertion of the database card into the GNSXL or the GNSXLS and uploading of your database into the unit. The easiest way to determine whether or not the database card is installed properly or not is looking at the ejection mechanism. Your lock tab on the PCMCIA card must be on the same side as the ejection mechanism. Now this is inverted between the XLS and the XL. Make attention to the lock tab on the PCMCIA card is closest to the ejection mechanism. Some typical issues that you can find if your database card is installed improperly or upside down is that you could have a blank display, it may not pass initialization, you may get a RAM failure. This could cause some serious issues with the unit, especially with the CPU board. CPU boards run in excess of $30,000 new from the factory. If you have a blank display, my recommendation is double check if the database card is installed in the unit or not. If it is, power the unit down, remove the database card, and reapply the power without the database card in it. This is also a case if you will not pass the initialization. You can do the same procedure. Remember, power the unit down, remove the database card, and reapply the power. If, after you reapply power, your display comes back up and you pass through the initialization, you can then use and input your own latitude and longitude into the unit by checking your pilot's operation manual. Remember, there are two different levels of this flight management system, the non-PR nav units and the PR nav units. The non-PR nav units do not require the database card to be installed in them at all times. Our recommendation is that when you load the database card, you then eject the PCMCIA card, remove it from the unit, and continue your flight. The PR nav units do require the database card to be in them at all times. If your flight management system still seems to not be operating properly, please let us know the database card was installed improperly and send the database card in with the unit. Then we can determine whether the database card itself is defective or the CPU board or something else internally within the unit has gone bad. 